guys, so I'm going to explain how to gain, how to get the roof stability um, of a transfer function. So what is the purpose of roof stability? Well, the general purpose of roof stability, we want to find a particular value of k. This value of k is going to tell us whether or not the system is stable, um, for how to make the system stable for what values of k. And it's going to explain it's going to show us the limits of k, basically, the minimum k we can have and the maximum k in order to keep stability of the system. So how does this work? Well, step one, use your characteristic equation. You're probably all familiar with this by now. Basically, if this is g of s right here, and you have a control system like this, g of s, and then this is just like that. If we want output over input, or c, you could say this r, c, r over c, this is h of s, which is <coughs> the forward gain divided by 1 minus the loop gain or in this case it's going to be k s plus 2 over s times s plus 1 divided by 1 plus that whole thing over again. Our characteristic equation is going to be this right here because we are only concerned with the poles of the function. We want to make sure that there are no right half plane poles or and in order to do that, we need if there are no right half plane poles, then that would mean we have a stable system. So this is why this is our characteristic equation. Characteristic equation. Now, if we want to find the poles of this function, you probably remember from algebra that a pole happens when the denominator is equal to zero. If the numerator was equal to zero, that would be a zero, because zero divided by anything is zero. But um, because we're looking for the poles of the function, we need to set the characteristic equation equal to zero. So when we do that, we get 1 plus k s plus 2 over s s plus 1 equals zero. Now I can multiply s times s plus 1 by this whole equation to get rid of the denominator. That's something I tell my students in algebra a lot. I tell them, scary fraction, what do you do? Multiply by the denominator. And say that enough times, and eventually they remember it, and then multiply by the denominator to get rid of fractions. It's kind of convenient. Anyway, zero times anything is still going to be zero, so that get to that point. And then I'm going to use the distributive property here. s squared plus s plus k s plus 2 equals 0, s squared plus s, k plus 1, <coughs> sorry about that, equals 0. So, these are my s squared, s and s to the 0 values. So now to make my chart, draw the s squared, s to the 1, and s to the 0. And when you're putting the numbers in the chart, it basically like skips over. The first value I put is going to be the s squared value, and then the second value is going to be the s to the zero value. It's essentially a matrix. We're basically creating a reverse matrix to solve this problem. So this is a one right here. So this would be one, that would be two, this would be k plus one, and then this would be zero because there's no s to the negative one. Well, when we do a roof stability test, if we have A, B, C, D for our chart, then the next number below it, like this number right here, E, E is going to equal C, B minus A, D divided by C. Hopefully that makes sense. It's like the opposite of a matrix, basically. So when I do that, I get 2 times K plus 1 minus 1 times 0 is 0, so minus 0, divided by k plus 1. And would you look at that, the k plus 1's cancel out. 
So this value right here is 2. So now, in order for the system to be stable, all of these values have to be greater than 0. So that means k plus 1 is greater than 0. And that means k has to be greater, greater than negative 1. Hopefully this makes sense. Let me know if it doesn't, and tell me if you have any questions. This means basically that for every value of k greater than negative 1, the system's going to be stable, because all of these are going to be greater than 0. But if k is equal to negative 1, you have marginal stability. If k is less than negative 1, then it's unstable. Because it creates a pole that it sets this equal to 0, and then you have a pole in the right half plane, and it becomes unstable. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.